Let's go see it. We're like TMZ. Come on. He, he Come on, Harry. He, he hit it with the weed eater. But Let's go. Get back into the grass. Where is he? Yeah, that's a moccasin. Yeah, that's a moccasin. Yeah, that's a moccasin. Yeah, my flowers died, man. I don't know what it is. I gotta figure it out. So, uh, I'm gonna replace all of that right there. And, uh, yeah, there we go.
got some grass. All right, Harry, that's all you. Yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that there was nothing like there's no, you know, steel pipe heads or anything sticking up out of there. So if something just got destroyed, I'll destroy it. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I can think of cut through some grass. Weeds, whatever. That's not grass. It's weeds and grass. You got bahia and then weeds. That's some thick stuff. So kind of glad that we actually had this today. We don't normally maintain that. Um, but I asked him since we had that out here if they want us to cut it down. He said, yes, please. So Harry's going to finish that up. Man, so I got this issue. I got to replace flowers again over here. I got this issue where the stinking flowers have died twice. And I mean, I put new soil. I mean, I tried everything. I excavated it the whole nine yards, man. I think there's like a bear or something over here peeing on my flowers. And they're coleus. You know how tough coleus are? Coleus are tough flowers. I put on my four ass day. We got every moment all day. Every moment all day. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm driving. Check this out. I'm driving suicide door style. I'm driving down the street with my door open. Breaking a law. Hold on. Right there. Man, that guy worked so hard. It's ridiculous. Hold on. So, anyways, I don't know what in the world keeps killing these plants, man. I gotta figure it out. Where should I park? Hold on, is there anybody behind me? Let me go park. Let me go park right here. I try to be out of the way when I park. I don't want to be in people's ways when a park, when a park. So anyway, um, they're still working on the skag and they haven't even looked at the hustler yet. So um, I'm just waiting on that. I really, um, I really want to get, I really want to get the, um, the skag back, man. Um, this, the John Deere is cool. Um, you know, it's big. The cut's really big, which is awesome. Um, but I just, the skag, the skag and a 61 inch with a mulch kit for us is where it's at. That's where it's at. That dude's like, what is he doing sitting there filming himself? Don't worry about it, sucker. Anyways, um, I just, I really miss the cheetah. The hustler's okay too. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna buy another Hustler. I, I'm still waiting to check out the new Gravely, I think the 460. Um, I wanna look at one of those. Um, I started off with a Gravely, I started out with a Gravely, um, then went to Lesco. Uh, man, I miss those mowers. You guys remember the Bolt, the 20, the 2000, which model was it? The 2010 model or something? Um, the one that they, um, they ended up discontinuing them, uh, but man, I really liked those mowers. They were, um, man, they were fast. I called them like the rabbit of mowers. They were really fast. They cut so dang good, man. They just cut so good. But it had this bolt on the front that allowed the front forks to pivot, which really pretty much prevented scalping for the most part. As much as you can prevent scalping, it is hands down the most anti-scalp system I have ever used in 13 years was that Lesco. I saw somebody else, was it Ferris or somebody else that um, is using that system? Man, I wish everybody would use that system. If you guys have never used it or you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you're, you're missing out because it had a, a big, like one inch bolt that ran through the center and the, the whole the whole fork just pivoted and that deck, you know, man, it was just so awesome. So like, you know, if your right front tire picks up on something, you know, right now your deck's gonna go that way, but this just didn't do that, man. It kept the deck level on the ground. It was so awesome. I loved it. But anyways, 
Um, I want to check out the Gravely 460. I did get a chance to see them um, when we were at the Gravely event. Um, you know, hopefully I'm gonna get my hand my hands on one soon. I'm enjoying the Atlas for now. Um, we're about to do huge, you know, 900 more bells of straw, so we really need that thing right now. Um, but I want to look at that because the the little gear looking dial for the deck system and all that, the seat was comfortable. That's the thing, man. This this the, the John Deere seat is just not comfortable. Dear Diary, build a more comfortable seat. I mean, the tag says $13,000. I would hope it would come with like a comfortable seat. But anyways, I like the, um, I like the Skag better for what we do especially. 61 inch with the mulch kit, the mulch kit, mulch kit. I get in everything, I get by everything. Um, and it's just awesome. 72 inch on the kind of condos that we cut uh, is no bueno. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I gotta go over here. Ari got stuck really bad. Don't tell me. Look, where at? Let's go see it. We're like TMZ. Come on, he, he come on, Harry. He, he hit it with the weed. Either, but Let's man, go. <laughs> We're TMZ. <laughs> Probably a moccasin. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's see where he's at. Right there. He's trying to get back into the grass. Where is he? Yeah, that's a moccasin. Yeah, that's a moccasin. Yeah. Get out of there, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, we. That's why we got to keep this trimmed. Wally, back up a little bit because his head is in the grass. Like, half of him is in that grass already. He's like, hurt. He ain't coming out. He ain't that long. I can tell by how thick he is. Yeah, we all stay away from this spot. Do you, do you want me to weed eat the rest of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know Tommy don't do snakes. <laughs> He's just looking, looking at you, walking away. Tommy's like, walking away. Don't, 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 don't do snakes. I about don't want to put these back on. I got to see clearly. <laughs> I don't. Not got it. It's cool. <laughs> So yeah, my flowers died, man. I don't know what it is. I gotta figure it out. So uh, I'm gonna replace all of that right there. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I had to add another, um, I had to add a line. I, I figured out why the flowers were dying. They weren't, get, they weren't getting enough coverage. So I ended up adding another line to them. Um, and uh, I think that that's gonna fix it. So added more water. More water. Man, I meant to show you guys um, where Ari got stuck. Um, he was just, he was mowing. The ground dropped out from underneath him, man. Just so wet and soggy, it sucks. That mower is 1,300 pounds, that John Deere. Um, that's a heavy mower, man. God, I always do that. It's a heavy mower. So we ended up getting it out, but about 12 feet, you know, worth of, you know, squishy squish. Man, anyways, you guys have a killer day. I'm gonna go take Leah to lunch. Yeah. And shovel where the sun don't shine You can take your own advice and Put it on your favorite t-shirt Oh, Lord knows You ain't got far to go Just listen to my voice And I'll tell you where to go Yes, I'm helping My fear wrong I live my days the way I want And I'm helping I've been slow Just leave it down the road
truck getting past the 12 gauge buck. Is she gonna reimburse my time? Digging holes for change overnight up the county line. Oh, Lord knows you ain't got far to go. Take one more step, son, you're gonna find the devil to your bed. Yes, I'm helping my fear wrong. I live my days the way I want. And I'm helping up in smoke to leave me down the road. Yes, I'm here.